Welcome to a MainlyDIY.com video. Hi, so today I'm going to make a candle and a spaghetti bead and I've got a chenille stem here and I'm just going to dip my stem in my craft glue and then I'm going to slide my bead onto the end of that. Um, just gives it a little bit more, uh, makes it a little bit stronger. So go ahead and, and put that on, uh, wipe off the excess glue. And then I'm going to be working with some starburst beads. Uh, I'm not quite sure how big these are. They look like they're about 25 millimeter. And I am going to uh, feed some onto my chenille stem. So um, I've got five on there, and um, I'm going to put on uh, probably about five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I call these snowflake beads. Sometimes they're called sunburst or starburst. And um, so I'm going to slide that those right up and see how they nestle right into each other and I have have 10 on there and I think that looks to be a good amount and then I'm going to kind of bend like about 90 degrees okay so here I have my candle started and then I'm going to take an old CD this is uh, America Online believe it or not and um, you could cover this up with a, a label or a piece of felt, I'm not going to bother for demonstration purposes. And plus, I think it's kind of cool to see what it was. So I'm going to um, clip off my chenille stem about three quarters of an inch to somewhere around there, three quarters of an inch, inch, something like that. Just clip that right off, and then I'm going to take some of this uh, double stick red tape. Okay. So this is a really strong double stick tape and I'm going to put my stem out like that, kind of centering my candle and I'm going to see how it's nesting in between the, the uh, petals of my starburst and I am going to just tape that right down. This one I made with a spaghetti bead on top but uh, if you don't have one of those, I'm going to use a yellow chenille stem for this one. And I am just going to use that to create my flame. So I am just kind of uh, shaping that chenille stem to be a flame. Okay, kind of like... So I'm, I'm got a little bit of a loop there, and I'm going to call that good for my flame. And then I'm going to take um, ten of these starburst or sunburst or snowflake beads, um, and I am going to feed them onto my chenille stem. I have ten of those, and I'm just going to um, feed them right on and see how those nestle right in real nicely to each other. So then I'm going to push those all up to by my flame. And then I'm going to um, cut my chenille stem off probably about an inch away from the bottom of my bead. And then I'm going to go ahead and bend my chenille stem up and make sure that it nestles uh, right in. And I, I see maybe I've got it a little bit longer than I want, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. A little bit uh, more like that to my liking. And then I'm going to take a uh, old CD. This is an America Online. Uh, it's 1999, so that's a pretty old one. Um, and see how it's got this around the center. It's not going to bother me for this project, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Uh, you could uh, 
put a label on the back or do something to cover it up, maybe a piece of uh, red felt or something of that nature. I'm going to leave mine just the way it is because I kind of like seeing what things were um, when I started with. So I'm going to take um, a piece of this double stick red line tape. It's um, super strong and I just need a little bit of it. So I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to set my candle down on my center it right over the hole and then I'm going to tape this chenille stem with this, this tape. And then I'm going to be using a pile of 18 inch, I mean um, 18 millimeters, sorry, uh, of these Starburst beads. And um, so I am going to um, peel off this, this red line tape. And I'm probably going to use a pin. Just want to be careful that I don't um, scratch up my CD. That's why I'm kind of going towards the middle. Really doesn't isn't going to matter because where the tape is it isn't going to hurt the CD any. I don't think I got the edge there so let's try again. Finally got an edge of that and I'm peeling it away and exposing the adhesive. And then I'm just going to take one of my Starbursts and nestle it right up in there. And then I am going to be using glue dots for the rest of, of my gluing. I did want to use the red line tape to make sure that my um, chenille stem was down good because um, that's a major support. So I am just taking a slide that a little off. I'm taking a glue dot here and I'm just going to put my starburst on top of that. Poke it down a little bit and then uh, peel it off away from the backing and then just go ahead and put my little starburst down. So I'm going to just have fun and, and go around the whole edge of my glue dots because I know I'm going to be using this many. Um, you might not want to do too much with that, but that was fun. Okay, so I will just peel that off from the backing and go ahead and um, nestle that in along the other ones. And, uh, and I'm just going to continue continue to go around. Okay, so I have one round around it and I am going to put a second row on, just like the first one. So again I'll put my starburst down on my adhesive dot and pull that up and stick it right down and uh, go around again. my wreath around my my candle. So now I'm going to take my smaller beads. Um, those are probably about uh, six millimeter I believe. And uh, I'm going to put down some clear um, thick craft glue. I want something that dries clear. It's clear and dries clear my glue on my glass surface and I am going to uh, use a, a little inexpensive paintbrush here and uh, dab some glue right in the center of one of those outside green beads and then pop a little red bead right on top of it. And uh, be careful not to uh, drag your glue on onto your CD. Um, the sooner you wipe that up the better. So I've got that wiped up. I just used um, 
something damp and a soft cloth to wipe that up with. So I'm going to be more careful this time. one on here. And again I'm being quite generous with the glue but I want to be careful not to drip it on my CD. Um, this glue I'm using is quite thick so that's that's helpful. Okay now I'm going to let that set up and I am going to clean up my my glue mess. So here I have my um, two um, CD candles. Um, this one I used a um, long spaghetti bead and this one I just used a uh, chenille stem and made a flame. Um, I think they're both very pretty. Um, they're simple to do. Um, the glue dots worked really well for putting down the green beads. Just use the uh, red line tape on the uh, holding the chenille stem down because that's really important to get that down.